Well, g'day everyone, my name is Fancy Felix, and I am glad you're here, because in today's episode of Let's Remember, we're taking a look at a little game called Save Our Pizzas, starring Scunny the Squirrel. And, oh my god, I would not be looking at this if there weren't a nostalgia factor involved, because I played this a little when I was a kid, but I can tell you, it's a bad game, okay? It's bad, it's bad. I do not recommend this. And I haven't even shown you it yet. I'm not even going to bother with the story, but all I can tell you is... Some evil guy stole uh, some pizza recipe and took it back to Rome and it's your job to get it back or something. But we are going to read a little bit about Scunny because he is the mascot of Copysoft Games. Scunny is a squirrel who loves children animals and sticky nut puddings. I don't know if that's children, comma, animals or children animals. I don't think it really matters, I guess. I mean, it, just, it matters to me. When he was little, his father told him many stories of his fantastic adventures in faraway lands. Scunny wanted to be like his father, and his ultimate wish was to star in his own video games. He knew he must practice running, jumping, and looking for things to eat in strange places. Scunny wrote to several computer game makers, but nobody wanted him. So he decided to make his own company, and he employed a programmer who knew an artist... An artist? That looks like a an alligator crossed with an aardvark. Painted green. Uh, anyway, so now he had a programmer and an artist. All he needed was a name. They all got together and came up with Copysoft. After several coffee machines and 500 sticky nut puddings, they finally had their... their first... their first game. That's not how you spell their... God damn it! Sorry, I'm grumpy about stuff like that. <laughs> The only problem was how to get Scunny into the computer. They scanned him in, but he came out in black and white, and his tail came off. There was only one way to get Scunny into the computer, and that was to shrink him in the washing machine. They washed Scunny for several days, and he became so small he could hide in the microchips. So when you are playing a game on your computer, and it's late at night, and you hear a small squeaky voice coming from your PC, just think, it may be Scunny. Oh, isn't that touching? That's so sweet. Little kids would love that. I love that. Too bad it's a shitty game. God damn, this one was released. Uh, developed and published by Copysoft, obviously. And it came out in 1993. And uh, it had so much potential. I mean, let's let's get into it. It's... I mean, it looks pretty, doesn't it? This is what drew me to it when I was a kid. But ended up infuriating me. It's pretty looking. It has a cool little mascot. But my god, it is hard as all hell. It's stupidly hard, and I've never ever beaten the first level. So let's see how well I fared today. Scunny only has one real attack. Which, well, he has two attacks. He can jump on enemies. Ow. Ow. And you can also pick up these uh, bomb pickups. To place so the enemies walk into them and die, but you have to be very precise with your bomb placement, like, I'm gonna try and bomb this guy, so watch this. Okay, that was a bit early, let's try again. Yeah, I got him and he screams, such a horrible noise comes out of him when you, when you kill him. Oh, this guy, this guy's being crafty, he's hiding behind a wall, ah, I dropped a bomb. Yeah, that was good. Good timing. Oh no, another hard player. Let's get some more bombs. And uh, these goblets and stuff just give you points. Actually, the goblet thing that had all the colorful stuff in it gave me health, I think. I don't know. Ooh, spring. I don't think I ever got this far as a kid. So it's already a new record. Oh my god. Several guys. Ah, more guys. Ah. There's centurions everywhere, and sometimes, goddamn Scunny doesn't jump when you press jump, which is uh, obviously a little problematic sometimes. Ooh, coins come out of here, I didn't know that happened. <coughs> Excuse me. My throat is killing me today, so please bear with me if I need to cough up half a lung or something. Ah, okay. What I said didn't make any sense, by the way. Just disregard. We're doing... Oh! no, oh, no! That's a real big problem there. What a nasty fall! Try again! Ugh, fine. Hope there's checkpoints. 
Okay. There was a checkpoint, thank god. But yeah, when you get hit, you go flying backwards. Which is a real big problem, because you're gonna end up in a bottomless pit sooner or later when you get walked into by these goddamn Romans. Nothing against Romans, please don't, uh, if there's any Romans in the audience, <laughs> please don't, don't, don't come and sue me for, for defamation or something. I didn't even defame you, did I? I just said I hate you. What am I even talking about? Are there ancient Romans watching this? Oh, who's this guy? Oh, you want ten monies? I don't have ten monies, and what's with your neck? Is there something wrong with it? Fine, let's go back and get ten coins. I honestly didn't think the points, uh, the coins did anything. Oh, how far am I gonna have to backtrack to get money? By the way, the music in this is horrible. It's abhorrent. Well, I mean, I've had worse, but it's it's bad. Oh, one more coin. Yes, okay. I assume we pay that guy and then he lets us use his catapult or something like that. I'm actually excited, genuinely, because I've never seen this and as a kid I always wanted to. So bad. Is this the end of the level? What's going to happen? Oh, let's see. Yes, take my coins. Now what? Jump on it. Whoa. Oh, oh my god, a bird. Wow, okay. Another bird. This is some big ass birds. Uh, uh, uh. So I don't know whatever happened to Scunny. I mean, I'm pretty sure he starred in several other games. But as a mascot, he obviously didn't kick off as much as uh, the other, you know, video game mascots that come to mind. He's no Super Mario. In fact, he's... Well, <laughs> oh, let's just try and get through this. I do like when you go next to an edge, he, he gets nervous like this. Okay, come on, do it! Yeah, see, he goes, oh dear. Oh, poor Scunny, I should stop scaring the hell out of him. Oh no! Yeah, the jumping and the bouncing off of enemies is awkward as all hell. This is your last chance to make history. Do I really want to make history? I don't even give a crap. I'm playing sloppy now. This game is bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. Even if it wasn't so hard. I don't know. It's pretty average. There's barely anything I can think of. Oh, sometimes the momentum he gets on his jumps is not what you want either. You gotta be really close with those bombs. Cause if there's music notes. Ah, I'm just gonna like take some damage. Nope, never mind. Game over. You scored twenty-nine thousand nine hundred points. Well, that's a new record, and that's as far as I think I will ever get in this game in my whole lifetime. I have had enough of it. I've had enough. There's one little thing I can show you though, which is the exit page. Well, the quitting page. Because this is the shareware version, the full version of the game with more levels, extra long, more enemies, etc. Special cheat codes to get extra lives and energy. See, you actually have to pay money to get extra lives and cheat codes and stuff. And a special bonus game. Please register today. Please consult the ordering information in the game. You know what? I'm done. I'm done with this game. I just had to look at it. I'm sorry that it wasn't that thrilling, honestly. But hey, thanks for watching. I will see you next time, everyone. And hey, keep it fancy.